hey what's up guys well let's pull back here and today it's the new year so happy new years <laughs> um i did not realize it yesterday when i was recording the video that it was going to be on uh new year's eve but happy new year i hope you guys all had a great time without covid <laughs> um yeah so today to celebrate the new year i'm playing a deck that i like a lot which is odd warrior i'm trying out again a different list with the new set that came out they actually had a couple control tools in it i still very much want to try out this card like i knew i had it in my last time when i played it i knew i put this in the deck but i never actually got to try it out try it out you know i don't even think i ever really played it in that game so i'm very excited to try it out now yes i'm still suffering from covid so if i sound nasally if i sound congested it's because i am and i want to die <laughs> anyways though um with that being said um i don't think there's much else to say besides the fact that i've cut two cards in my opinion that were relatively garbage for defiance cannoneer but this card is absolutely broke in my opinion I'm possibly the best card that came out of united and stormwind so um yeah with that being said let's go up the first game and let's see how everything goes all right guys i'll see y'all there all right so first matchup is most likely a mirror match we obviously don't want to keep Baku. Nobody ever wants to fucking see Baku. I don't know a single odd deck that actually wants to draw Baku. Hey, if it is actually Pirate Warrior, this card might come in clutch. To be fair, this hand is shit. And... Why do I feel like the screen is shifted down? I might be tripping. No, I, I'll, I'll fully acknowledge the fact that I might be fucking tripping. Um... Sky Raider into another one drop pirate would be optimal here, but I acknowledge that that is a very, a very low possibility of actually happening. Yeah, go figure. I think this is a single deck where I draw the fewest amount of pirates on one, even though this deck plays, I'm pretty sure, more than regular Pirate Warrior. I can beat that. I can't beat that. <laughs> um. That's a really good draw, actually. Okay, well, I'm gonna take the fucking anus punishment that I'm gonna take here, but that's okay, I guess. Oh. I'm currently drinking myself a bubbly. Fuck, these things are fire. Uh, I wish I'd coin for this. I got punished, sadly. Fuck you, game. <laughs> I'm gonna kill off the cannon, might as well here. Um, next to the point where he plays, I mean, this is just a solid play. So, okay. If not, I have fear part of this. Or it's this. I know this is one, two, three. If he plays a four health minion, I'll be more than happy to slam this and wipe the board. I wish this was just enemy minions, but then I could understand it being a little bit too powerful. I can actually see him trading away both of these here, doing this and doing this. This is just a really good trade for him. And this is also a very good trade for him, because if he leaves this alive, it can possibly wipe his board. If he leaves this alive, it needs to be more armor, right? There's obviously the that he doesn't want to have happen. Okay, so with that, it's going to be that into hit. I'm going to slam this. I'm going to have a 3-4. He's going to have a 2-1 weapon. I wouldn't say I'm in a terrible position, but I'm not in an optimal position. Brand is such a shit draw here. The reason I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm in a shit position here, is because I have this. I'm also expecting, to be fair, to draw uh, Anchor here, because I'm mostly finding one mana to squeeze this in this turn. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine. He punches here. It's not the end of the world. I can do hero power this, this. Hopefully both of those go face. Yeah, well, I mean, eight, two. It's not as good as eating three, but... What can you do? I'm fucking quitting this game. What the fuck? The one card I didn't want to draw in my deck. I said the one card that would not be good to draw here is Ankar. I hate my life. I genuinely hate this. Ah, uh, 
Isn't Pirate Warrior the next deck I have to add to the never touching again list? If I'm going to be playing Pirate Warrior, I'm just going to be playing Dead Man's Hand. Uh, I, I genuinely think, though, I'm never actually touching Quest Hunter again. I said that a while ago in a video. I didn't even think I titled the video that. And I'm just like, yeah, genuinely, I never want to touch that deck again. I don't think I hate any deck nearly as much as I hate either of these two decks. Like, the fact that you're 2400, the end of the season, no, this is getting recorded an hour before season reset. The fact that you're ranked 20 or 2400 and you're playing Pirate Warrior is kind of sad. And I hope he notices that it's sad. You are actually playing the easiest deck to pilot in the game, and you're losing. My draw this game was shit. I'm gonna concede here. I'm dead here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Four shots. Uh, I guess I wasn't exactly dead, but I was dead the next turn anyway, so. Does not matter if I concede there or not. Anyways, though, let's erase that game out of our memory, and let's just queue up the next one, right, guys? I'll see y'all there. All right, we're against a rogue. Oh, there's a one-drop pirate? I didn't know I had those in my deck. Um, I'm expecting this to be combo, so I kind of want to press the hero power button as much as possible. I hate this game for fucking pets, man. <laughs> Every time I see this card, I just get depressed. Also, by the way, I hope you have a drink. I currently got me a beer. I had bought a whole bunch of shit for holiday parties, and then obviously I caught COVID, or someone in my household caught COVID on Christmas Eve. So, I've had a whole bunch of beer to get through. <laughs> to be fair, I do know you're not supposed to theoretically drink beer or drink alcohol uh, while you have COVID, because it dampens your immune system. But honestly, I already have it. What, what worse can I get, you know? So I'm enjoying a nice cold beer with dinner and at New Year's, you know, enjoyed some alcohol as well there so i just hope that you guys if you guys are legally able to drink i hope you guys enjoyed yourself a drink and i'm enjoying myself a beer now oh, i hate the deck i'm playing against. i hate this deck more than i hate most decks in the game any long time viewer will know how much i actually fucking hate i played those in the wrong order i forgot that card got nerfed Oh, I hate my life. Why do this? Why was that the nerf? To play? That nerf does nothing. I hate this game. This game is this game. This video is just gonna be titled like a misery playing pirate warrior. Just misery in general, actually. Just straight up misery. At least that's a good draw. He puts a two health guy, this this card is fine. I hate King's Bane so fucking much. The deck is not even good and I hate it. To be fair, Pirate War or Odd Warrior seems actually unplayable. I actually kind of want to try playing Odd Warrior, but like tr traditional style, it's just heavy control, cutting all the pirate bullshit. I think that's the next way I'm playing the deck. Next time you guys see me play Odd Warrior, it's gonna be that. Okay, that's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Okay, that's at least a solid card. I'm hoping that next turn my attack uh, draws me like this Oz first mate. So this way I have actual other cards to go with this. I could have corn this up, but I didn't kill his guy. Kingsbane being Kingsbane. I hate the fact that there's nothing to silence weapons. It. That is a fact that genuinely pisses me off. It pisses me off way more than it should. Real, if I'm being honest. Well, if I miss here, I die. So, let's hope I don't miss. It's 25% chance I miss. Okay, thank God. I saw the first one go face. I'm like, fuck, I actually hit the 25% chance. But I didn't, thank God. Thank Jesus Christos. Ooh. So, right now, 
if this sticks by some miracle, never mind. <laughs> As I say, I out heal how much damage he's doing with Kingsbane. To be fair, it just takes one hit from to kill that. But hey, it's still his Kingsbane right now is still without this on the board. It's still only three damage a turn or four damage a turn. Fuck rogues. <laughs> Fuck rogues with a flaming dong. Uh, immaturity. I love it so much. Yeah, no. Fuck this game. Losing the King's Main Rogue in 2022. Lol. I have not won a single game this year. Ha <laughs> ha! New Year's joke. Anyways, well, let's let's just skip the next one. All right. Uh, oh, hog, actual playable cards. Okay. By the way, I think this card is trash in this deck. I, if you draw how the deck's supposed to draw, you don't actually have a chance to play this card. If you draw badly then you have a chance to play it but i just think in general this card's not great it's so much mana if this was one mana cheaper i'm about to lose the cavern below rogue i'm so sad it's one of the very few decks that have more value than deck i'm playing can i draw a one drop pirate that is not patches please please game do me this one favor No, okay. Fuck me. Uh, next one I have a Defias Cannoneer, which is solid. It's not great. It doesn't really qualify itself as great. At least I don't qualify it as great. Interesting. Defias Cannoneer here is going to be pretty good, I hope. Hopefully I'll win the fitty fitty. I'm stabbing here like this every single time. Okay, I hit it. My oh, God. Can I point out that they also always have raiding party on two, or on three? Like this deck always has this exact curve: cavern on one, hero power on two, three zero drop into raiding party, into draw this cunt, and then I lose the game. It's very easy. <laughs> Did my sales. I hate the fact that there's actually no counterplay to quests in this game. Like, that's actually what this game needs. One way to play around quests. Because there are none. There is zero way to actually play around the quest cards. And it's shit game design, in my opinion. This is not a pirate, right? Nope. I see that pirates are not actually in my deck, which is pretty cool. There's only 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of them left in my deck. Only. So, clearly, with four, 16 of them in my deck, uh, and 29 cards as we remove Raid the Docks. Um, actually, more than that. There's 17 in the deck, minus one Raid the Docks. So, in 29 cards, 17 of them are pirates. Clearly, you should see uh, five non-pirates in the top, but nine cards of your deck. Or, sorry, six, uh, seven cards of your deck. That's just math, right? That's how math works. How did he play? A oh, he played a prep. That's how. This, 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 this. Okay. Well, we lose, but at least it's not the Pirate Warrior. Yo, generally this video is going to just be like fucking five straight losses and just me crying at the end. Dying of COVID, dying in game, not being able to win in the new year. What else is new? 
Uh, I actually hate this game sometimes. <laughs> I hate it exactly when I hit very specific matchups. By the way, who the fuck decided to start playing Rogue again? Like, why? Why are you like this? Why do you choose to play Rogue? Why does the Rogue player get double counterfeit coin? I played that Edwin, I drew fucking nine drops. Or like fucking other Edwin and the four cards in my deck that didn't cost zero. And then my opponent just straight up draws his entire deck. Fuck me. Like, I actually just fuck me. Fuck this game. Just fuck this game, bro. Let me guess, the last card you hit is backstab so you could kill my 1-1? One, one? Why did I have to call it? Why? Why? I hate this game. Why, why was I able to call what he would have? I hate this game. <laughs> uh, I generally don't even want to play this game anymore. I just got fucked raw twice in a row in Battlegrounds. And now I'm just like, you know what? Is this game even worth playing? <laughs> To be fair, this is probably the best draw he's had since he started playing this deck. I mean, I guess I have to give him some amount of fucking happiness. Even though I don't get any, ever. I just sit here in pain and misery. Oh, look, that would have been a sick card to draw any bit earlier. Fuck you. Okay, we have time for one more game. I'm gonna I'm only playing one more game. Alright, anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna let's let's skip the next one. I've hit two classes. People do realize that there's eight other classes in the game, right? Okay. Let's spawn this, let's drop patches. On turn two. And then Let's cry about losing when we hit no other pirates for the rest of the game. You know what? At this point, I need to start keeping the three drop pirates in my opener. Just because I know I'm going to miss on them later on. And I'm just going to be sitting here and never being able to get past part one of quest. Sorry, I moved my mic. I hope that did not make too much noise for you guys. One drop pirate. No? Okay. All right, so basically I should hit like three pirates in a row at this point, but we all know that's not going to happen. For fuck's sake, all of my opponents have identical curves. How do they ever lose? This game is nothing but pain and misery. The game is nothing but pain and misery. Uh, I should have killed one of those ones. Oh, I'm so tilted. I'm straight up. I'm at a fucking like 270 degree angle, bro. I just don't want to be here. Bro, same fucking curve. Bruh. It's not even a combo because he has this fucking douche. I don't even know, fuck. At this point, there's nothing to do. There's this point, it's just me losing to another pirate warrior. Because I've hit two pirates in eight cards. Three if you encounter patches that I pulled from my deck. When there's 17 in the deck. I hate life. I'm getting better though at muting my mic whenever I have to cough because of COVID. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I say the the C word way too much in my videos. 
It is, I, I, it is used way too much, if I'm being honest. Oh, fuck, I am tired too, Jesus Christ. Oh, nice, second chips cannon. Must be nice to actually draw the cards you want to play. Am I dead yet? <laughs> I kind of just want to die, if I'm being honest. Fuck this game. I don't want to play this anymore. Apparently I removed all the pirates out of my deck. I want to save this for this. I think that's the right call. At this point I don't fucking know. Of course. I was about to insult this guy for having golden fucking Ankar. But I realized that might make me a douche canoe. Just straight up being a douchebag about it. I should have used my weapon. I'm an actual inbred twat. I am so bad at this game, Jesus Christ. I should have used it because I want to attack with Anchor here. But I guess this is just better. I guess this is fine. We're both at comparable lives. He has anchor developed. I have a board. Oh, fucking no. I should have put the Nazoth first mate first to kill off the guy. So this way my buccaneer was at three, or my cannoneer was at three health. I don't know if that makes a difference. He just slams your car right here. And I feel like I lose the card. Very hard, but. Okay. Hey. Shiver our timbers. To do this. Hopefully draw a risky skipper. We do not. Let's do this. 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 And this. Well. At least when we inevitably hit Rakara, we have double juggernaut. At least that's a thing. To be fair, we have to hit it. Where that means pirate draw here, plus pirate draw off this. Never mind. That was a filthy fucking top deck. And it doesn't matter anymore. Takes a minimum of two turns. I have to just slam this here. Ugh. That's the best priority you could have hit, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Puts me down to 4. I mean... He needs smite is lethal. That's lethal. 6 axes. 8, 10, 16, yeah. Oh well. Zero wins in the new year. Can we at least win at opening a booster pack? Because we have enough gold to buy a booster pack. So maybe we can win at that and hit a Lego. Huh? 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 That'd be pretty cool. Is there any new New Year's thingies? No, there's only these two. I'm very tempted to buy this one because it's like six bucks. But no. I have to refrain from buying random shit that I don't need. So I don't need it. Legendary. Legendary? Fog, we actually hit it. Hear me out. Warlock spell. Called it. That is skill. See, when you call it, it is skill. I've been, I had this discussion today, actually. Yesterday when I was playing Battlegrounds with my brother, I was playing Ysera. And I leveled up to three. And I'm like, all right. I know what's going to happen on my turn. The shop is going to refresh. I'm going to get... Or sorry, like the, the new shop is going to come back. So I'm going to get a hero... Uh, dragon from Ysera's hero power. It's going to be Terragosa. It was. And then I bought the triple of the evolving Chroma Wing. Which is the new 1-3 that every time you level, you double its power. 
Got the golden one of that. I played it, and I'm like, this Discover is going to give me promo Drake. Played the Discover, got promo Drake, won the game. To be fair, I hit five other Terragosas, five other promo Drakes, and three uh, Razor Gores, double Nadina. My board was cracked. But when you call it, it's skill. So calling this is skill. So now I know what deck we're playing tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, though, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, rep the gang as always. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Um, and with that being said, I guess I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys. Yeah, with that being said, I'll see y'all there. Actually, there's a cool thing to collect here. But yeah, anyways, with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.